Hello everyone. Uh, earlier I have been trying to compile Bazel on Windows. Uh, what I found was that the, although the instructions are very clear on the website, but they do not actually work. Uh, so I have figured out a way to compile uh, Bazel on Windows. So I'm just going to uh, going to uh, to show you how how I how I successfully compiled this. So first of all, you need Java JDK. So you need to go to this web web page and download Java JDK, which I have already downloaded. Next, you need to download MSYS2, which is available at this website. So you need to download MSYS2 64 bit. So I've already already downloaded this version, and then you need Visual C++. So you can go, go to Visual C website, Visual Studio website, and just download from there. The community edition edition is free. And finally, you need Python. Uh, so you, if you're familiar with Python, uh, you can download the 64-bit version. So I've downloaded all the all the four softwares: JDK, MSYS2, Python, and Visual Studio. So first of all, we're going to install JDK. Okay, once it's installed, you can now install MSYS2. So you can install it in. So as as the website says, I mean you can install it anywhere, but as the website says in tools MSYS. Uh, so I would uh, go with the, the same instructions. Okay, so I've already installed it, so it's. Uh, it's only going to overwrite it, so I just wanted to show you that it just installs. So I have already have tools M64, M664 bit. So the next thing which you're going to install is Python. So again, I have already installed Python uh, in my Python, so it's only going to overwrite it. So I'm not going to install it. So here you can see I have already installed Python. Uh, in C Python directory. So next, uh, you're going to install Visual Studio. Again, Visual Studio. I had already installed it, but I, I'm going to show you uh, some. Uh, installation options which you have, which, which you need to select uh, otherwise uh, visual studio will not be configured for uh, for msys2 uh, when you are going, going to compile bazel so when you install it do install check this option for programming languages if you don't select this option then it will not uh, install visual c++ which is necessary to compile uh, bazel so I'm going to just skip it, uh, but you need you will continue with this setup. So now what we're going to do is so we go to GitHub page for Bazel, and instead we go to releases, and first of all we need to download zip file for version 0.40 which is this file source code zip dot zip so i've already downloaded this version next you're going to download the latest version which is 0 0.42 currently so again you're going to download the source code which i have already downloaded here so i'm going to extract 
first of all I'm going to extract uh, uh, version 0 0.40 Once it's done, now I'm going to see tools M64. I'm going to run this shell for M62. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directory to Bazel 0.40. from basil page so first of all you need to check that you are you have uh, successfully installed uh, jdk so the path for jdk is c program files java and jdk so if you don't have jdk installed you will only see jre if you have java, java installed otherwise you should see version of jdk so because we have just installed jdk so we can just uh, uh, we can see the jdk folder here so now what we are going to do is just copy this and export okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to export path for basil for bash so if you had installed it uh, msys2 in tools m64 so you should find a ba bash.exe in user bin so here it is so if this path is correct you can just use directly use this path here And then we are going to export and give, give path to Python. So I had already installed Python in 2.7 to Python 2.7. So I'm going to add path for Python. And I've got Visual Studio latest version, which is uh, which is 2015. So it's so if you install 2015 it should come out as pro in pro it should be in program file at x86 microsoft visual studio 14 so if you have 2013 you should see it in uh, 2013 is installed in 12 uh, but i'm going to use the latest version so we are just going to add export this path so as my uh, path is the same as as it, as mentioned on Bazel website, so I'm going to use that. Just copy it from there. Okay, so now we have added all the paths. Now what we can do is, so as the environment says, uh, so we have followed the same same procedures. We opened MSYS2, but we did not follow this. Uh, uh, the second bullet point because it doesn't work uh, we have set the environmental variables environment variables and now we are going to run compile.sh in bazel directory so if we go to I had this in my downloads directory compile bazel yeah I've got it here so I'm going to just because I'm already in this directory, so I'm just going to do compile dot search. So it's going to, to take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause this uh, recording 
uh, until it's, it has finished its job. Okay, once it's uh, done, you should be able to see that build was successful. But now let's compile and you should see the output for the bezel.exe in output uh, folder. So now we are going to extract the latest version 0 0.42. I'm going to change directory to 0 0.42. So now if we run, so all the, the instructions are the same, but if we run compile.sh, it will give, give us some error. So the, the way you can do it is compile.sh, compile, and then give path to zero slash output slash bezel dot exe okay so now it should compile successfully so again it's going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video for that time okay so once the compile is successful now you now we can uh, run, now you can run some tests uh, you can build c plus plus java or python using these commands so i'm going to run only commands for c plus plus for this video only okay so we need to add both You can also test you know, by build uh, using Java and Python, but I'm, you can do it later. So if you are not interested in compiling uh, the source, you can also just download the uh, executable from directly from the from the from the GitHub page. It's up to you. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit a like button below if you like the video. Thank you.